Okay, yes, I'm wearing the same thing from the last video. I just wanted to do another one before I go inside. Um, so basically, this one, I was watching something and the person was like, love is, love is compassion without judgment. And this is something that struck me because in my whole, you know, self, development journey spiritual journey whatever love is something that I've been really trying to grasp an understanding of in terms of myself in terms of the purpose of like relationships or dating or talking to people or whatever it is like people looking outside of themselves for that experience of love and that's kind of been the purpose that we've given like getting together with certain people or this idea of you know you know dating then getting married having a family or whatever like you want to be able to have somebody that loves you but a lot of us have a definition of love that includes pain or other like the anticipation of hurt and especially when people break up this loss this grief this heavy negative feeling this anger i don't want to say hate but i'm sure i other people have been hurt to the point where they feel like they hate the person but it's like you can't hate and love somebody at the same time like you can't be in that vibration and call that love yet that's what most of us believe love is people out here in relationships um whether they're cheating getting cheated on or being hurt emotionally mentally physically the the actions that people take and they say that they're doing it because they love somebody um in the the family sense when we have the relationship with our parents and children of course from a young age parents disciplining and doing all these things and they're saying well i'm doing this because i love you so at least in the aspect of a parent's love that comes with well i'm the provider so this is how i'm showing that i love you i'm putting the house over your head I'm putting food on your table I'm paying for school I'm doing my duties to take care of you and that's what love is when a child literally can't take care of themselves they couldn't survive like your survival is literally dependent on your parents your caretakers so how can that be a fair definition of love and then if that's your experience you're kind of conditioned well now I'm obligated to reciprocate this when that was just a natural function of something you're supposed to do when you give birth so it turns more of an obligation and then the, it's flipped when you end up having to be the caretaker as they get older and if you don't have a good relationship that can turn into resentment and then all of those things are added to the definition of love which makes it confusing because it's like that the energy of love getting back to the topic of the video was like i said that feeling of compassion so that acceptance that understanding but taking away the judgment of all those other factors like there is no judgment there is no negative feeling or guilt or shame or hurt in the vibration of love the frequency of love dissolves all of those things so just those are just a couple scenarios and a couple ways that we experience different versions and definitions of love that don't necessarily match the frequency of it so most of us are out here saying we're looking for love but our definitions aren't even clear or close to what the frequency of love is so now you're manifesting experiences that reflect your expectation and understanding and meaning of love so if that means you not getting treated the way that you want to be treated you could have a um, definition of love that you don't believe you're worthy of it so uh, you're gonna attract the type of love that you believe you're worthy of and some people might be like well I don't feel like I'm unworthy but if you felt like you were truly worthy of whatever type of experiences and expressions of love you would be experiencing them so if you're not and you see a pattern of people that you're dealing with the, the patterns that you're experiencing 
are showing you what kind of expressions of love that you you might have normalized so the point of this video is just to talk about the different types of experiences that people have when it comes to love and kind of just realizing that you have to change your definition of it especially if it turns it's been things if it turns out like situations where you don't have things going the way that you want them to and if you genuinely even desire a relationship once you recognize what love truly is you're gonna realize it's not coming from a place of needing someone to complete you it's someone already being complete and experiencing an expression a reflection of the love that's pouring out of them your cup is filled and it's spilling out and someone's reflecting that back to you but it doesn't come from a place of societal standards it doesn't come a place of you trying to fill some void you trying to get somebody to make you feel worthy and then you'll be like well now i'm loved no you're supposed to know that you are love because everything is already a reflection of who you are your reality is a reflection of you you're the creator of your reality you're the creator of this life experience you're the perceiver you're the creator you're literally everything so when you realize that everything is an outward expression of the love that you are you get to decide how that's reflected but it's not supposed to be you being dependent or you having like jealousy and fear and all these other experiences like you should never be jealous of the person you love so if you have insecurities where you whether you've been cheated on or not or you just have this insecurity where you just don't trust your partner or maybe you just don't trust the opposite sex or you know just have this jealousy of wanting someone to give you their undivided attention in an unhealthy dependent way that's something that you need to realize you're not really seeking that from the other person because you'll see that repels people when you're being insecure and you don't know your worth a hundred percent like on your own the purpose like again the realization is that you might have a definition of relationships that doesn't serve you and you might have created the purpose of a relationship to be something that shows you your worth so then obviously if you're someone who's not in one you'll be like well I'm not good enough and then obviously you'll feel like well I don't have the experiences I'm not in a relationship because I'm not good enough so how am I ever gonna get one if I'm not good enough so having those limiting beliefs about yourself is another cycle that you can get caught in if you don't make the decision to really know your worth like you being in a relationship has nothing to do with your worth we are all worthy just because we exist we are all unique expressions and there's nobody like you there's nobody like me nobody could be anyone other than themselves and we all exist for that purpose so just having that idea of how special you are having that idea of how you're a unique expression of love period getting to know that and then feeling that within you if you really sit there and focus and say like i'm truly a unique expression of love like i'm almost feeling emotional just thinking about it because I know I haven't really been focusing on that lately and I saw I've been frustrated because we're all looking for love in all the wrong places looking for love in whether people text you back or whether they call you or if you make plans or try to make plans and they don't want to do it you feel like oh I'm not loved and then if you've been stuck in that isolation you're feeling like okay well i try to make friends i try to do this i try to do that it doesn't feel like it's good enough because the person people whoever isn't reflecting back the love that you know i'm trying to give but love this is not something that you have to try to give either it's just naturally there so again you have to just be putting your awareness on it you don't even have to do anything to to be to be loved like it's literally unconditional I kind of just burped there I hope y'all didn't hear that <laughs> but anyways the point is love is unconditional love is who we are is natural to who we are so if you're someone who struggled with not feeling loved it's only because that's what you have been 
focused on and that's the sensations and feelings that you're used to kind of existing on so you guys just have to change your attention and your focus to being loved you could just even start with an affirmation like i am so loved i am love love is just a natural part of me i'm just naturally loving like focus on those characteristics for a little bit and just start to recognize the, all the expressions of love from the cars, from the trees, the flowers, wherever you live. I'm sure there are things that you can observe and see that everything is an expression of love. You could think about all the things that are have been created without you. Uh, without all the things have been, that have been created around you imagine all the creativity and the people who were doing their passion to create these things to make life better for us and we're still using things today as representations of their love and obviously it doesn't have to be like oh I'm in love with you or that type of thing like just seeing love as a component within everything can bring you back to feeling that compassion for people even if it's difficult people in your life just know people are acting from whatever state of being that they're capable of so if someone is mean to you it doesn't always mean that it's their intention to hurt you maybe they've been hurt and they're acting out from a hurt place most times especially when it comes to relationships if people start cheating or um or people don't feel like being emotionally open with others it's usually because they haven't experienced expressions of love to be comfortable with that a lot of men are taught to be a man like being loving and caring and considerate that's not really being a man people will call you a simp just because you show that you love someone and you care for someone and you be you want to be kind to them when that's literally just showing somebody you care for them and respect for them or if it's women that they'll say that they're overly emotional or that type of love will be more the needy or insecure and obviously it doesn't matter what sex you are because you could be insecure whether you're male female whatever you identify with but the whole point is we have all these assumptions about what role we play when it comes to love and then we wonder why we're experiencing all these things that aren't the love that we say that we want so it's really first clearing up your experiences when it comes to love um creating new definitions and reflections about how you want love to be reflected in your life and also how you want to show up as someone who is just in love in general in love with life you're not going to be sitting there frustrated and complaining you'll be more in a place of gratitude acceptance compassion without judgment that just means that you're not your first response isn't going to be reacting to something like oh my god this is terrible what am i doing what's happening whatever like no now you be like oh you know this that there could be a number of reasons for that like you don't even need to know the reason for it but when you look at something from a place of love you could dissolve it from something that is a hardship and a struggle and something with a negative outcome and it can transform into something that's positive and something that helps you. Like if you even just make the decision that nothing bad can happen to you or everything happens to you from a place of love, even a negative, seemingly ne negative experience can be something that helps you, you know, become a more loving version of yourself. Like if you didn't have that experience that gave you those insecurities and things to be aware of maybe how you are putting yourself down or putting down your own self-worth and now that you become aware of that it allows you to become ready and receptive for the true love that you want to experience that was a positive thing you could be like thank you so and so for hurting me because it finally gave me that breaking point where I said I deserve better than this and now I'm not accepting any less and therefore since I know my worth now I've received a love that I didn't even believe was possible or couldn't even imagine existing for me and if if that's your desire but love could also be you just being in love with life being happy 
no longer being upset and miserable and genuinely in love with who you are even if you don't have a relationship you'll still be satisfied and fulfilled but you're not going to be dependent on society standards and other people's expectations and experiences of love and one other thing is if people aren't an expression of the kind of love that you want the kind of relationship that you want you don't have to take their advice a lot of people out here projecting things but when you go behind closed doors they don't have the perfect perfect relationship you don't have to go behind closed doors to know that they don't have their stuff together so i would just say if you genuinely wanted some type of experience at least look at people who actually have what you want even if it seems like something is rare, because people love to be like, oh, a love is so rare and it's hard to find. If that's what you believe and you keep affirming that, that's why that's all you're experiencing. If you said love is so easy, even starting with you, because a lot of us shame ourselves and are so critical and judgmental that we couldn't even fathom seeing ourselves as someone to be loved, which is the only reason we're blocking those experiences then we would easily be able to experience more beneficial relationships, positive relationships, long-lasting relationships, if we so desired. Because that's something I had to realize, like, I've never had the experience of genuine love. I could never really say that I've ever loved anyone, and I struggled to love myself at some points too because it just felt like after a while you feel like something's wrong with you but there really isn't anything wrong with you but when you're in that mindset and that's your belief system it's hard for you to see anything good so all you're doing is focused on your own flaws and it keeps you trapped and thinking like oh because this person didn't text me back they don't like me I'm not good enough when it's literally like that person is busy and they literally have their own life but if you were in love with yourself and in love with your life you wouldn't even be sitting there having time to think about why didn't this person hit me up honestly they probably would be hitting you up all the time if you didn't have the expectation that people don't communicate well with you because you don't feel like you're worthy of that communication and a lot of us feel like since we haven't experienced something before that it's just not possible so again if you're putting your confidence based on your past experiences with love or anything in general then of course you literally have no evidence to go off of so it's literally you just put in that trust in the fact that okay well this is what i've been doing has this been getting me the results that i want no this is how i've been experiencing relationships and this is how i've been seeing myself and what was the outcome these situations not working out so you can definitely put like a and b together and see the result so i wonder okay well if i started telling myself that i am loved i'm the most loved person in the world why does everybody love me why do i love me like start there why do i love myself so much why is there so much to love about me like you really need to hype yourself up before even paying any mind to anybody outside of you because the funny part is when you hype yourself up and pour that love into you people naturally gravitate towards that people naturally become reflections of that love either they'll change in their attitude towards you be more positive or they'll vibrate out of your life if you being in that energy of love is too much for them because you're either going to show people thing that things that trigger them to the point where they're like okay i can't really be around this only because they're not loving themselves so seeing somebody loving themselves and being happy and positive your vibrations will either repel them or it'll bring people to you if they're not capable of sustaining that you know positive energy or whatever so my point is start with loving you because you are perfect even the things that you consider to be flaws were perfectly designed for you to make a choice to be a different version of yourself so all the insecurities your struggles with love were perfectly designed for you to remember the love that you are remember that we can experience unloving feelings and situations but it doesn't take away from the love that you are you just get to experience those expressions of it even if it appears to be something negative it's still an expression of love just filtered through negative beliefs or perspectives about the way that life works so 
I think the takeaway from this is redefine what love is. Or even if you just say, you know what, I am love. Love surrounds me. Love flows through my life effortlessly. Like, make up something about love in the way that you want it to be expressed for you. And even if you don't know what it is, you could just say, I am love. Or why am I love? Why is love so easy for me? And your mind, your subconscious will know what you mean. So if love for you is just about loving yourself, why do I love myself so much? Why is there so much to love about me? Why do people love me so much? Why do people treat me with such um, amazing, you know, I don't know, treatment, whatever. Like, whatever aspect of love that seems difficult for you, just start telling a new story of how you want it to work. And don't necessarily tell it and then start looking around like, okay, nothing's changing. Sometimes you won't notice it. Other times it'll show up and it'll be very obvious. But my advice is don't do it to automatically change something. Do it just to make yourself feel better first. Let it feel natural. And you'll know when you're in that state of... We are always in a state of love. But you'll become more aware of the loving experiences that were always around you. Only because now you consistently changed your mindset to have your awareness focused on things in a loving way instead of a, you know, a disempowering or sad way or whatever. So, uh, I think just to wrap it up, so I gave a lot of feedback and things to kind of show like how if we take away the judgment and this feeling of being wrong about things you can start to feel what love truly is. And it might feel something different for you or it might mean something different for you depending on what it is you feel that you're lacking in your life, but you're not lacking anything. You just need to place your awareness more on the things that you want and eventually you'll start to see things change significantly enough for you to really accept that you've stepped into that loving state of being and it's not even that you're changing anything because the love has always been there it's just your awareness wasn't on it so that love has always been there you could say I've always been loved love has always been easy for me it's natural for me to have loving thoughts I'm naturally a loving person I love my life if you really feel like you're struggling with your life and in a general sense, obviously, you want to be able to say, I love my life. And then, obviously, I love my life means I have everything that I want. Everything's working out for me. Friends, family, relationships, you know, work, money. Like, that's a general affirmation that can cover every area of your life. And even just saying, I, why do I love my life? It'll start helping your mind experience things and show you things that you love so the frequency of love is just satisfaction fulfillment just peace compassion it just feels really good like even in just saying that the few times like i start to feel emotional because i could genuinely genuinely say that for all this time i haven't loved my life and that's what i felt like i struggled to even figure out how do i love my life when i feel like i'm not good enough i don't feel like the things that i've wanted have unfolded and I felt like people wouldn't, sorry, I felt like people wouldn't accept me because my life is somehow not good enough when at the same time, literally people live in the same life and are happy, they're satisfied, and it's not something that they're judging themselves for. Like, it's okay to want more for yourself, but don't sit there and sabotage or, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? You don't have to sit there and invalidate where you are because when you're placing judgment and feeling bad or ashamed about your life not being where you want it to be, you're invalidating yourself and you don't have to do that. I think when you resist what's going on in your life right now, that's the only reason that you're staying stuck because you keep judging where you are as some place that you can't get out of or you feel like things are never going to change just because you've been where you are for however long but that's the only reason things keep 
being stuck is because you're keeping yourself where you are by judging it as a situation that's unchangeable as something that you can't get out of as you not being capable of experiencing love because you don't have experience or because you're alone right now like using all of those conditions for you to be loved like there are no conditions for love love is unconditional so that's something like everything is unconditional everything that you want like you don't have to change anything about yourself to be worthy to be good enough for it and that's another thing when i was watching the same video where i got that quote from he was basically like you don't have to change who you are to be good enough for whoever it is that you want to be with or to experience love like you can grow with a person you don't have to have it all together like it would be even a more satisfying experience to be to have someone be there for you support you and see how you glow up into your best self and they get the opportunity of watching you shine so you don't have to be you're not supposed to be flawless in the sense that like you know something is wrong with you or whatever like everybody has quote-unquote flaws but those same flaws are perfect for whoever you wanted to be in this lifetime like you might have needed them to teach you lessons but now you realize the only lesson is that I can choose whoever I, I want to be in any moment for whatever it is that I desire to have I just step into that identity of whoever I need to be that has that thing already and in practicing that mindset and that expectation whatever you want can come to you so um i think that's why i'm going to end this video because i didn't mean for it to go this long um but yeah so again love is compassion without judgment so let's stop judging ourselves let's focus on the love that we are let's focus on just being accepting without judgment and allowing ourselves the grace to express whatever it is that we feel in the moment but don't feel like it's an obstacle or anything like there are no obstacles there are no struggles you are worthy you are love and just keep telling yourself that until you you feel it and the more you stay there it just becomes more natural to you so again like comment subscribe share it for anybody you think would benefit from hearing um let me hear your experiences or your thoughts maybe what love means to you in a way that's helped you to release any type of negative experiences that you've gone through just looking back to things that your old definitions of love to help you learn and recognize about what you needed to change in order to have the experience that you want if you've had a successful relationship share your tips on what love was for you and how it helped you stay in a relationship just any any opinions just feel free to share down below motivate each other be love be respectful and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video